Assalamu alaikum. I'm right here at Mass. You can see my name tag right here. Uh, promoting our book before I do 150 questions Muslims must ask before marriage. And I get this question a lot. James, what do I need to do to have a successful marriage as a Muslim? And here's the answer that I always give. The things that you ignore at the beginning are the reasons why you leave at the end. The things that you ignore at the beginning are the reasons why you leave at the end. So it's very important during the courtship process not to turn a blind eye on red flags because those red flags become your forever after. And so in our book, we coach you on how to have the confidence, the generosity, the tactfulness to address and work through red flags for you to either say, okay, I can work through this and, I can, and this, this is no longer an issue for me. You resolve it once and for all, or you just say, hey, this is not for me. You don't pass this red flag test. I'm gonna move on and find somebody else and may Allah allow you to find somebody who's better for you as well. Nothing personal. All right, I hope this helps. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.